dance, you can dance, yeah. Anyway, yes, uh, super engine thing. Like this. You can use it as a gun. So, fold these out. Don't close them up because then you would have a gun that's stupidly big for such a small figure, I show you guys. Sad thing is, two packs, not one, so it's always off center. But look at how ridiculous big his gun is. His gun is as big as his torso. That's just plain wrong. I'll do it like this way. It looks a bit better. See, still not off center. Still off center. That's my a big complaint about I've got about this figure. So this kind of looks a bit better, I think. Yeah, pretty cool. Both once again on both figures, I prefer the alt mode. I really prefer the alt mode because. Especially Clockwork looks really cool. Articulation wise, Clockwork isn't that good. Shoulders can go 360, can go in and out, but feels kinda hindered. His elbows, look at how cool, how good he can bend this elbow, all the way like this. It's, but that's due to the transformation. You can also use his, the, his exhaust pipe uh, to be some sort of gun thing if you've got a bit of imagination. Legs go in and off the body, the on the ball zone, go forward and back. He has knee articulation, but it goes all the way there. N not that much because of the panel. Doing it back, panel opening, you can get him to a wide variety of poses. And that's basically it. That's it about uh, Clockwork articulation. He has waist articulation, forgot to mention that. Cool to include that because it isn't necessary for the isn't uh, necessary for the transformation. Uh, I'm still struggling doing these reviews in English. Still difficult for me. Anyway, let's change them uh, back. I start with uh, breakdown, close up, pull out this weapon and close up this thing. So, oh, as you fold the grey piece down, also uh, make sure you've rotated this head before. <laughs> this head actually is uh, part of the engine. You can see. Now we need to. Uh, what I showed you guys earlier with the grey things pushing up, now pushing them down. Same with the other side. Like this. Rotate his torso again. Slack go below here. They pack. All, they also do pack together. But. Uh, it, it doesn't hold up very well. Slide in the hands over the packs. Angle the wheels a bit, like I do. See that uh, hole right there? This is where the weapon, engine weapon thing uh, packs in. Real simple. Real simple. You may have to angle the wheels a bit better to make it ro roll, but that's it. Easy. The clocker has, I think for such a small little fellow, he has such a uh, interesting transformation. Now I'm putting off away his uh, exhaust pipe just to get you guys a better glimpse of his figure. Push. Uh, pull away from the front of the car, so leave it hanging again. Fold it back in, fold his head in, but also fold in uh, the other orange pieces. But fold the head in first because, as you can see, there are tiny uh, uh, packs on the side of the side orange things. By pulling his head up, you also will pull up uh, 
the these orange things. So pretty ingenious if I say so myself. Um, fold up the arms together like this. When doing so you can fold them inwards like this thus creating the cockpit and now we need to slide the front of the car back over it like so pretty cool open the panels you can click his legs together now if you want to or you just do it later and fold the legs fold them down pack them in later after you fold them in now you could pack them together close also the panel and this are his feet and it's now just the back of the of the seat so real cool engineering on this guy put on his uh, engine and this weapon again thus making him really cool can't forget the exhaust pipes just Click them on. I prefer them uh, like this, so I can see the wheels a bit. But then you gotta be a bit careful not blocking uh, his uh, key gimmick. So sometimes the exhaust blocks the key gimmick, but now it doesn't, so that's great. There you guys have it. Two figure review. Clocker on breakdown kind of like father and son so real cool real cool all of these two I prefer Clocker the most so as you get him he's real fun and that for a scout class I hate normally I hate scout classes because they're too tiny for me but Clocker looks really really cool and uh, Breakdown looks also cool and I just noticed with the camera on pick it up if you look at this side here it has also a steering wheel uh, kind of molded in looks like a steering wheel so that's cool I just noticed it um, the camera can't pick it up but it's there this little fellow full of details I really recommend Clockro he shouldn't cost much because it's a scout class he's really cool he rolls pretty well and leave him in his alt mode it's in my opinion definitely the best of his uh, two modes same goes with breakdown although I don't recommend breakdown as much as I recommend clocker but if you see him just pick him up uh, he is pretty cheap so can't go wrong with that anyway this is Bounce Girl saying until the next time goodbye <laughs>